Hey guys, it's the Aussie Gamer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing how you can unlock the BMW G82 M4 competition in Forza Horizon 5. So, let's get into it. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more FH5 news and gameplay, then make sure you do. If you have subbed, you are awesome, and if you haven't, that would be greatly appreciated. Alrighty, so we are in the Series 11 Rami's Racing History Series. It's technically not called a series number anymore, but I'm just going to for uh, easier understanding reasons. So yes, this is Series 11. Now, the car we can get today is through 80 points through the whole series. Now, this is not too difficult to obtain. For me, it meant I completed everything in the summer season and completed one challenge in the autumn, and I was able to get the car. So here you can see I got everything done in this select summer season, and then in autumn we've got these pre-made ones which already complete, and I personally did this mudflow speed trap. You'll also see that these challenges are also completed and count in other seasons. So for example, the story, the um, these EV circuit, and the other petrol monthly rivals are the same for winter and spring. So with that, how about we go look at the M4 competition? Oh boy, this thing is bright in white. Might change the color. Um, anyway, we can see here in all of its glory with the, um, the design that some people quite honestly don't like. Some people do. I actually don't mind it in real life, um, but it definitely is something you need to get used to. So I'll open this thing up and we'll be able to look in the engine bay and we can see our glorious inline straight six with our twin turbo setup. Now, the thing is with this car right here, it's actually got more horsepower than the standard M4. So that M4 has 473 horsepower, while the M4 competition has 503. Now, yes, that grill does look a little ridiculous. As I said in real life, it doesn't actually look as bad, but I would like to see in-game some aftermarket options that actually make it look more normal compared to other BMW models, and sadly, they don't. They do have some mods, which I will be showing, but not that exact one. With this competition, we also get a slew of other carbon fiber options, some in-game that you can't actually see, uh, because in real life, you can option them extras, but here, this car that was laser scanned doesn't seem to have it. Now saying that, some of the aftermarket options we'll be looking at will have carbon. Let's go inside and have a look around, and I must say, at this generation of BMW, I really do like it. Things like the iX, for example, I feel like that's pushing it a bit far. For example, the infotainment, uh, the iDrive systems in them seem to be a bit more complicated than this current generation of iDrive which is a little bummer. So if you want to get the best version, uh, go for this model. Now we're going to start this thing up and hear what it sounds like. Now this does sound quite good, quite potent actually. I think I may look in the upgrade section and see what we can do with the exhaust as well as the body options so we can get a scope of how customizable this car is. So first off, body kits, what can we put on here? Okay, so we have a BMW option which seems to add a carbon front lip and some canards, which is pretty nice. So yeah, this is closer to, I think, the CSL, if that's what it's called. I can't truly remember. Um, we've also got our rear wing. So we've got a uh, another larger rear wing we can put on this. We've got our typical Forza Aero and then a rear wing delete. Now. I'd probably go for this one if I was going to modify a little further. This seems to also be carbon, which is pretty cool. Looking into bumpers, we have another option. This also goes to carbon, adds a bit more aero on the sides, this ducting, and the exhaust layout has been changed to quite this funky looking design, but it's still quite cool. And last, we have our skirts. Now this one, Yes, it looks like it goes straight to carbon, which is pretty nice. Some more aero ducting onto the side for better airflow. So if you do want to change the look of this car from standard, I can happily say you can. Now, I'm not going to be max upgrading in this video. It is just how to unlock. But I wanted to look at some things that uh, do change the car a bit. So let's hear what it sounds like with the exhaust. And now with the upgraded exhaust. 
Oh boy, that sounds potent. That is nice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that sound. Anyway, I'm going to leave it for here. I'm going to quickly jump into the paint options to see what we can do there because it's always nice to see these options. So we'll go to paint car and we'll be able to see, oh, we have some good options. We've got our white, a kind of silver, a black, which looks quite aggressive, a gray, which I, I actually don't mind this. We've got, uh, I'm sorry, I'm colorblind. I don't know if this is purple or blue, um, but it is quite nice. And we've also got this yellow, which I have seen in real life. It looks really nice in the sun. I'm going to save this here and we are going to go out for a drive. Well, in the light at this time of day, it looks absolutely gorgeous. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay, we're on to our usual back road and I'm going to floor it to see what it performs like in three, two, one. Yeah, this winds up very nicely. I do love the sound of it at high RPM. I think it's a sweet sounding inline six, which is nice, because I know some others in real life, uh, for example, the Barras, they just don't sound good when they're modified. Obviously, it's negligible when you put a good exhaust on it, but generally, it's difficult. As in game, when you do upgrade the exhaust, it sounds even better. Now, I'd be keen to see what it sounds like in real life with some upgrades, for example, with the CSL and then also aftermarket options. That would be quite cool. Now I'm really noticing the styling that BMW is going for. This looks like a baby M8 comp. Now I understand why, because it's an M4 comp. You can see the similar styling cues, for example, uh, with the rear styling, especially the tail lights. Some of the proportions are similar, but not exact obviously, because this is the M4, but there is a similar layout going for a lot of the lineup. This honestly feels like such a great cruising car. You could just go around the map for hours, just enjoying it. Going through the rev range, probably at high for most of the time because it sounds so good. But yeah, there's a lot you can enjoy with this vehicle. What's really cool with this is that this has the iDrive functioning. And we can see in the gauge cluster in front of us, our G meter. And also on the screen to our side, the same thing. You don't get that on a lot of BMWs in game. So here it's an awesome touch. Now, if you are late to unlocking this, don't fret. There are other ways you can also obtain it. The first way is going through the auction house. It might be quite high of a buyout first off after it leaves in the first festival playlist it's in, but it should become more common over months. Saying that, we should also see it in the festival playlist soon. It probably will be a few months, but I guarantee it will be back. Alrighty guys, well I'm going to end it there. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you later in my next video. Peace.